Hello? JJ, I've been feeling super productive lately and I think I'm gonna go vegan. Good for you, Johnny. I hope it works out for you. It takes a lot of work cutting out all the food from your diet. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be beans, lentils, and chicken nuggets from now on. Dude, chicken isn't vegan. Wait, chicken isn't vegan? Huh. I guess chicken really isn't vegan. Oh, <laughs> hey, didn't see you there. Uh, welcome to Wondershare Filmora Pro. My name's Johnny, and today we're gonna be taking a look at this really cool comic book transition style effect inspired by one of my personal favorite films, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. This effect combines some animation and split screen techniques, which are both things that we've talked about before for Filmora 10, but today we're gonna bring them into Filmora Pro and see what we can do with them. So let's get right into it. For this skit, we filmed three shots. We shot our footage of myself on the phone, JJ on the phone, and finally a shot for the next scene which we're transitioning to. Since this skit starts with JJ, I'll place the clip of her on the timeline first. Notice that we made sure JJ would stay center framed for this clip. This is because while she will appear in a split screen, we want her to be framed well for the start of the skit. Next we have our clip of Johnny on the phone. For this shot, we kept Johnny on camera left since we planned to slide this clip in from the right. Technically you can frame your collars however you want, but shooting this way allows us to skip a lot of pesky masking. Let's place our clip of him on the track above JJ, and this is normally when you'd want to make sure everything is in sync, though luckily for me my clips are already in sync. For our Johnny clip, let's go to the controls panel and move it so that he takes up the right half of the split screen. Next we can move our JJ clip to the left until she's framed well in the left half of the screen. If you're having trouble framing your clips right, especially if you have too much empty space on either side of either clip, you can use the rectangular mask tool to change the framing of your top clip, just like this. Now, how do we create a border between these two screens? Since our clip of Johnny is on top, let's add a drop shadow effect to it, and select the hard outline preset. I'm going to increase the opacity all the way up to 1.0, and set my shadow color to white, since I feel like it contrasts well in this case. And that's how you can create a split screen in Filmora Pro. Next, let's animate and turn it into a comic book style animation. First, let's show how we'll animate the split screen at the start. I'm gonna have my split screen start right after JJ picks up the phone. So we're actually going to work backwards here. Right when Johnny begins the phone conversation, let's set a position keyframe on the Johnny clip, and then 10 frames earlier, let's adjust the position so that the clip of Johnny, including the border, slides off the right side of the frame. Let's highlight both clips and click this icon to convert them into smooth keyframes. Next, line up the playhead with the keyframe on the right side of the controls panel, and then click on the clip of the person receiving the phone call. Create a position keyframe right at that moment, and another one 10 frames earlier, this time by adjusting the position until your subject's clip is filling the entire frame. And again, we'll convert these keyframes into smooth keyframes. Now let's take a look at that. Great! Next, let's animate how both these clips will disappear. In this case, it'll be easiest for our top clip, since all we really need to do is what we did in the last step, but in reverse. So, right when the call ends, let's click on our clip of Johnny, and in the controls panel, once again set a position keyframe, and then 10 frames later, set another one, by dragging the clip's position to the right until the clip leaves the shot. Highlight both keyframes and set them to be smooth keyframes, just like this. Our shot of JJ will require a couple more steps. We want her half of the screen to slide off to the left side, but because she's in the middle of her clip, 
a lot of the frame will get in the way of the effect. So what we'll want to do is draw a rectangular mask that includes everything in her frame right up to the white border of the split screen, just like this. We only want this mask to become active after the split screen starts. So what I'm going to try in this case is going to the controls panel and under shape, set an expansion keyframe. One frame earlier, I'll create another keyframe by cranking the expansion value all the way up. Now my mask shouldn't be cutting any of the frame out for the beginning bit. We'll also want her clip to have the same white border as Johnny's. So let's go to Johnny's clip, copy the drop shadow effect, and paste it on JJ's clip. You may or may not need to adjust the scale of the drop shadow effect for the border to be roughly the same size as the other clip. Now we're free to keyframe the position. So let's find out where the first keyframe on the right clip is. Switch back to the left clip and also set a position keyframe right there. And then 10 frames later, set another one by dragging the clip's position far enough to the left that it falls off the left side of the frame. Just like this. And you know the drill, let's turn these keyframes into smooth keyframes too. Let's take a look at that. Awesome. And finally, we can reveal a clip in the next scene underneath by taking our two clips and moving them one track higher and sliding our next scene's clip underneath at the end, just like this. I'll finish this off by adding some comic book style text in the bottom left corner saying later that day. And we'll also put this under our phone call clips. Let's take a look at that. Awesome. Optionally for style, you can also check the motion blur boxes on the first two clips that you worked on if you want the transition to look extra smooth. So that was a look at how to pull off a comic book style transition. Will you use this in your videos? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, oh my God, it's the vegan police. I swear, I didn't eat any chicken. This isn't about chicken. It's about steaks. Johnny from the future? Also, was that a pun? Silence past Johnny. I'm gonna do what I should have done in the first place. I'm gonna remove you from the timeline. It's about steaks.